Well, there's my Yeti. This is my older one. I had to get another one. I just, sometimes I misplace it. <laughs> I set them down. I don't know where I leave it. But, I left it sit, and it got kind of sediment in there. I got a lot of it out. See the edges? The outside is nice and clean. You know how you keep a Yeti clean? Of course, I used this, too. I added that to my drill driver. Just one of them detailing brushes. I got a few of these. And then put it in there and it just scrubbed it clean. Effordent. I'll let that sit in there for about, well, I'll maybe, maybe when I come back from work I'll rinse it out and clean it out. It doesn't hurt it. You can't taste it. It's mint flavored, but <laughs> you won't taste it. That, I, the whole side of my cup was really nasty. That's because it was like half full. I had lost it anyway. It was in the garage. Black and crusty. These chunks came right out. Especially with this. I just put hot water in there and then scrubbed it. A little tiny drop of soap in there. And now I'm and then I had effort in it too, and it, it got most of it out, but it's still thick at the bottom. See what happens later. I'll update you. But I'm telling you, even coffee, regular coffee cups that are hard to clean, just throw that effort in in there. Wipe it right, it wipes right out. I'm thinking, okay, yeah, coffee stains, tobacco stains, all that stuff on teeth, on dentures. Why wouldn't it work in here? It does really good.